So photosynthesis can be summarised by saying that we're taking inorganic material, CO2 and H2O, and converting it into organic compounds, glucose, and also producing as a byproduct oxygen. Now, importantly, this requires light energy, sunlight, to power the reactions. Now, as I mentioned to you, this is just a summary. It's actually a very complex process with a number of steps. But these are our raw ingredients and these are our products. The point of photosynthesis is to be able to produce organic material. So it's synthesis, which means building, using photo meaning light. So using light to build organic material. It's the process of fixing carbon. So we're taking carbon out of the atmosphere and putting it into an organic source. So then that becomes an energy source to power all of the processes of life. Um, it's a very complex process but we're going to have a look at it just simply now by breaking it down into the two key processes. First of all, we've got what we call our light reactions, or more specifically, we should call them our light dependent reactions. And the process of our light dependent reactions is that they absorb sunlight, and they do that obviously through our pigment, and the whole reason for it is to convert light energy into chemical energy. And that chemical energy is then used to drive the second part of the reaction. So the chemical energy then is ATP and also another energy carrier, NADPH. So um, it converts energy from the sun into chemical energy that can then be used to drive that process of fixing carbon to produce the organic molecules in the second half of the reaction. So the light reactions occur where the pigment is, where the chlorophyll is, and that is on the thylakoid membrane. So this occurs on the thylakoid membrane. So in other words, it occurs on the grana. Once the uh, chemical energy, the ATP and the NADPH has been produced, it then passes into the stroma, that liquid, where the second lot of reactions occur. It's also in this process that water gets split. So this water here gets split and oxygen is produced as the byproduct. So finally we can say that water is split and oxygen is released. So then our ATP and our NADPH go out into the stroma for the second lot of reactions called, sometimes called the dark reactions, but that's actually a bit misleading because we're not saying that it only occurs in the dark. So more specifically, we would call it the light independent reactions because they don't require light to occur. Now the whole process of the dark reactions is to fix carbon. The purpose is to use the energy from the light reactions to turn this process called the Calvin cycle to fix carbon. So we take CO2 and we make glucose. Fix carbon. So we take, so the input is CO2 and what you produce, glucose. And it's a very complex process with a number of steps that we call it the Calvin cycle. This occurs in the stroma or the liquid of the chloroplast. It occurs in the stroma.